Hey, what is up, new troopers? This is Bloodseek. So this is my very first video on EGN FPS. Now I'm not going to be really doing a introduction video here. I'm going to be doing a life story. Now since Halloween is coming up in a couple of days, I was like, hmm, let's do a really spooky, scary story for you guys. Now this takes place about three or four years ago, back when me and some of my friends went to a haunted house. Now. The haunted house wasn't the part that was really scary. Um, it was what's going on behind me in the haunted house. So basically, it started off. Me and my friends are just walking around, just looking around at all the, looking at all the shows, all the vendors, and all that stuff. So me and my friends go to our first haunted house. There was three in this park. So you know, we're standing in line, we're talking, you know, yada yada yada. And I'm talking to my friends, and one of my friends is talking to this chick and this guy that's right behind us. And you know, we're sitting there talking for about 30 minutes, and we go into the haunted house. And right before we do, my friend Mark goes, Hey guys, do you, it's, do you mind if they come uh, with us? Uh, the boy and the girl. And we're like, oh cool, yeah, that, that's cool. They can come, kind of weird that these two people are coming with us, you know. You know, when you're in a haunted house, you want less people because it's more scary and more people it ruins a haunted house. Everybody knows that has been to a haunted house. So we walk in, first is my friend Jason, then my friend Courtney, then me, and then and the guy, and then the chick, and then my friend Mark. Mark was in the back. So we were walking through, we walked out for the first five minutes, and it gets pitch, pitch black. And like, you, you can't see anything, you're like, oh no, man, I'm going to run to a wall. So you, you're kind of scared, like, okay, you walk and make sure you don't run into a wall. And then the guy behind me puts his hand on my shoulder. And I was like, whoa, okay, okay. It's dark. It's dark in here, so that's okay. You know, I'm kind of holding on to Courtney's hoodie right now, so it's okay that he's grabbing on to me as long as he's not in some weird, perverted way. So as we kept on walking, there was more light, but he was still, like, Sometimes he still put his hand on my shoulder, or if he got scared, he would jump up against me. And I was starting to be like really, really freaked out about this guy. And I was like, man, what's with this dude? Just, just, I was, I wanted to hit him. I wanted to like scream at him. But you know, tight hallway. It's okay. Maybe you can touch. Maybe. But I was still a little freaked out. And as we just kept on, kept on going through, he kept on like grabbing me. Like one time, I grabbed like my, you know, my above handles. He grabbed onto those, he grabbed on like to my shoulder, my arm, and I'm like, okay, this is like really, really creepy. And I was like, okay, I'm I'm about I'm gonna about to say something. So again, we'll, um I was able to get away from him for a while, you know, I went up to the front of the line and I kept on walking a bit for another thirty minutes. I uh, kept on going through the haunted house. I had no problem. I was hearing um the girls talk, the girl talk and uh, my friend's talking in the back, so, you know, I wasn't, I was no longer scared. But then, somehow, again, that same guy got behind me. And again, he started putting his hands on me. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to speak to Courtney and get her behind me so this guy cannot do anything. You know, can't keep on touching me. And so, I finally get him away from me and closer to Courtney in this big haunted room. With like all these like little gravestones and all these little guys were popping out of the graves or they'll be running around into a grave and pop out another one. And I'm like, hey, Courtney, hey, um, will you like be get behind me? Like this guy keeps on touching me. She's like, what guy, Mark? And I'm like, no, the one with the black hair. And she was like, Kevin, that is so wrong. That's a chick. That's not a man. I was like, oh, thank God. So to end the story, I got laid that night. Alright, now I got one more quick spooky story for you guys. Now this story also takes place in a haunted house. This was actually one year before this happened. Um, so me and my friends, same people, walking through the haunted house. And we go, this haunted house has like a bunch of different shows as you walk through. And they're allowed to touch you. So we're walking through the hallway and we walk into this big room and there's a show. And this big brute fat guy is just walking around like looking trying to stir people down and comes to me and tries to stir me down and man he smelled and I was like okay so I made a joke which I don't really like doing to these people because you know they're just doing it for fun if you make fun of them then just ruin the fun so I never really one of those people that make fun of these people but he smelled so I was like you know you remind me of my sister 
And apparently that was like the bad thing to say because right then he just picks me up and he throws me down on the table. And the guy that's doing the show lifts up my shirt. And these two boys, probably about 13 years old, come up and they start like, pat, like it's like patty caking on, on my, uh, my belly. And then so I grab my belly and you know, all this stuff. And one guy, you know the happy trail that's like right under your belly button? Well, he started rubbing his uh, finger on that hair right there. And to me, that's a little close for comfort. First off, this kid's like 13, and it just wasn't too pleasant. Well, in the end, I was a little freaked out, mainly by that guy. I did get cut in half by a chainsaw, and yeah. Alright guys, now I really, really hope you enjoyed these two haunted house stories from a couple of years ago. Uh, please check out my channel. I do a lot of live stories and all these other different types of commentaries. Alright guys, please check out my channel. You will not be disappointed. And this is Bloodseek, and I'm out. Peace! Good job, comrades. We are victorious.